Alright, so we're going to start with a blank motion template and open it. Then we're going to go over to the rectangle tool, create a rectangle, go ahead and fit the canvas to our screen, and create a rectangle just to cover the background there. Then we're going to rename the group to background. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and lock that layer just so we don't mess it up. Okay, we're going to create a new group, and we are going to call it circles. Okay, now we're going to make sure that our circle tool is selected and create a pretty large circle to fill up most of the screen. We're going to take out the fill and turn on the outline. We want to make sure that we can see the outline, so you're going to choose any color, it doesn't matter. Then you're going to increase the width so you can see it. I chose about 40. Then you're going to make sure that the caps are square and you're going to take out just a little bit of the offset. You're going to go to library. You're going to go to behaviors, basic motion, spin, and drag it on to that first circle layer. And you're going to go to the inspector and change the spin rate. You can choose whatever speed you want, however fast. You want to make sure that you have the Z axis. And so now you have um, a spinning circle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close that layer and lock it so that we don't mess it up. We're going to create another circle. And we'll create another pretty large circle. We're going to again, we're going to turn the fill and turn on the outline. You can choose any color for the outline and then bump up the width. You don't want all your circles to be the same width. And then you're going to take out most of your offset. It really doesn't matter what you choose. It's personal preference. Make sure that your caps are square. And then go to library. Back to spin. Drag the spin onto the second circle layer. And then go back to inspector. And choose a different rate. You want to do the opposite. So in this example, it will be a negative number. By doing this, the circles go in opposite directions and at different speeds. Lock that layer so we don't mess it up. We want to create another circle layer. And again, you're going to turn off the fill, turn on the outline, choose the color that you like. Then turn up the width. Turn your edges to square and then take out the offset. All this is really just a matter of preference. You can choose whatever offset and whatever color for speed. You want to go back and add on the spin. Go back to the inspector and change the spin rate. This will be a negative number as well since it's inside that first green one that we made so that it will spin opposite. And this is what we have so far, just a bunch of spinning circles. Alright, so you notice that they're, they're offset and they're not perfectly in the center. So if you run into that problem, you want to go to Properties, Position, open up that tab. You want to press on that down arrow there and press Reset Parameter. And you want to do that to all of these circles that you've created so far. Unlock them and reset the parameter and now they're all aligned perfectly in a circle. And so now we have a more coherent circle that's starting to look like our final composition. So now we're just gonna make it a little bit smaller so that we can see outside the box because we're gonna create a circle that is bigger than the actual canvas itself. So just again, select your circle tool, create a pretty large circle, Then go to shape, turn off your fill, turn on your outline, again select the color, turn up your width, go back to properties, you can reset your parameter now, go back to shape, take off your offset, and then make sure that your end taps are set to square.
Now we have all four rings there, but the outer one isn't spinning. So we need to go back to the library. We need to drag in the spin behavior onto the fourth circle. Then you want to go to the inspector and go to behaviors and then change the spin rate. And so now we have all of our circles in place. All right, so now you need to get a minute long countdown. I will leave the, the link in the description to where I got my minute countdown. You just want to drag that in. Then you want to rename that group to Countdown. And then you're going to just put them in order here. You want the countdown in front of the background but behind the circles, just like that. Alright, there we go. So now we're going to go to Library. We're going to go to Filters, Keying, here. We're going to drag that onto the Minute video. And go back to the Inspector, go to Filters. And you're just going to sample a color of that beige, that beige color there. And it's going to take away all of that, that beige background. Then you're going to go back to Library. You're going to go to Color Correction. And choose Color Balance. And you're just going to drag that onto your video. And you're going to go back to the inspector. And you're going to go to the first one. And you're just going to take it down to white to make it a gray color. Back to library. Now we're going to go to behaviors, basic motion. For grow slash shrink. And then we're going to drag it onto the countdown layer. Then you want to go back to the inspector. You want to go to behaviors. Scaling. You can play around with these numbers depending on how much you want your letters to grow. Now we're going to shrink that layer down so that it has room to grow. And now we're going to go back over to Properties and reset the position. And so now we have a countdown with spinning circles. But the numbers aren't growing because our scale isn't high enough. So just go back to Behaviors and adjust the scale. And now we have our completed countdown, and you can see it grows and the circles spin around it. 